Regardless if you have Pro Tools first or the full version, this video is for you. So get ready, I'm gonna show you how to set up a recording session in Pro Tools. What's popping, you guys? I'm 30 Killer Beats. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn more about making music and or you're already experienced in it, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna talk about all that kind of stuff. So for today is more on Pro Tools for beginners. I'm gonna show you how to set up a recording session in Pro Tools, and you can do this if you're a beginner or a pro. It really it really don't matter. So right now we have a session ready to like set up. Before you even open up Pro Tools or Pro Tools first, you want to understand that you gotta have an audio interface to even run this program. Hit the link down below if you're interested. I got a whole video on the best audio interfaces if you're interested up in the card right here I believe so check that video out if you're interested so even open up this program you need an audio interface period make sure you plug in your interface plug in the drivers for that interface and you should be set to go when you open up Pro Tools it'll look like this right now this is Pro Tools 12 so uh, this is what Pro Tools 12 will look like so regardless if you have Pro Tools first or Pro Tools 12 you should follow along with this video so right here you want to make sure you have wave file selected and then right here, go ahead and select 24 bit. You can select 32 if you want to. You know, it, it is more quality, but I, the leveling is kind of different when you when you mix it. Me personally, I just leave it on 24. I have no issues with it. It's perfectly fine. So you also want to record in 44.1. If you record up here, that's cool. You'll get a higher quality, but understand the files are going to be a whole lot bigger. So just understand the majority of the people, they always record in 44.1, but um, yeah. So I normally record in 44.1 anyway. Let's go ahead and just use this um if you're new you just go ahead and just do stereo mix or a last use setting you're probably not gonna see last use setting go ahead and name it for the purpose of this video i'm gonna name it test and let's go ahead and save this in the documents that's perfectly fine all right so documents test boom all right so when you open up pro tools it's pretty much going to look exactly like this you don't have nothing in here uh, sometimes you may not even see the play button i know in pro tools first you may not even see some of these options up here so make sure you go into like this blank area right here and just right click you'll have multiple different options on what you want to see whatever is checked you'll see that here at the top so like here let me um disable these midi keys See, now I don't see the MIDI keys options or the MIDI controls. But now if I plug that back in, here they are. And you also, you also see the tempo. So we're getting to that. So the first thing you pretty much want to do, you want to go ahead and add some tracks. So you want to go up here to tracks, go to new. So right here, you can easily add a track, whether it's a, a mono track or, or stereo. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to kind of set up like a beginner's template for you guys. So you can pretty much just use this template to get started. Make sure you follow along to set up the whole template. If you want to just go ahead and download it, there will be a link down below and you can just click on the link and download this uh, template that I'm doing for you guys. It's just a beginner's template. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put any effects or whatever. You can just use this template just to start off with. You should be good to go right now we're adding a track so you want to just go ahead let me just add a stereo track uh, go ahead and create and boom you know you have a you have a track right here and on this track I'm going to put the beat you know what I'm saying you can download beats from YouTube you can hit me up for beats if you want I got beats on my uh, channel you know what I'm saying just make sure you hit the card up here for the playlist I got hundreds of beats on my channel so anywho you want to put a beat right here so let me go ahead and put one right there just for, for the purpose of the video so you want to also add other tracks for like your vocals and recording and stuff like that so let's go to tracks go to new and then understand that when you're recording you want to make sure that your track that you're recording on is on mono so this track right here I'm going to leave it on mono and it's an audio track that we're recording on and boom so that's the track that I'm going to record on you can also add multiple tracks by clicking on this right here and just easily put in a number so let's just create uh five different tracks all right so it we're going to create five audio tracks tracks and these are going to be our vocal tracks and if you want to add multiple other different tracks you can just easily hit this plus button right here and you can select down here what kind of tracks you want to insert so let me go ahead and put it on stereo the track we're going to add we're going to add a master fader so this track right here all the sounds are going to go through the master fader so whatever you do in this master fader track it will do to everything that's in the session so let's go ahead and create this and plug this in so there are millions of ways to like do art you know what i'm saying you could do art with a pen a sharpie a rock whatever same thing with recording
recording. There's millions of ways to, to record a song. You know what I'm saying? In this video, I'm gonna show you my personal way of recording. See, we have here, we have all these tracks. The first track, I'm gonna just go ahead and name it. And you can easily name all these tracks by just double clicking on the name. And the first one I'm gonna name is Record. This is my recording track, Recording Vox. You can resize it by putting your cursor at the bottom right here and clicking and dragging. And then when you click right here, you can easily give it a color. Say like, I want I want my recording track to be green. So you know what I'm saying? Let me click on it and then just double click on it right here and then easily click right there, boom. So now my recording track is green. So uh, it should be easy to find whenever, whenever I'm navigating through a bunch of different files. Okay, say you wanna add in effects and stuff like that. You wanna make sure that you go to the mixer. So to easily do that, you can go up here to window and go to mix. And this right here is my mixer, you know what I'm saying, for Pro Tools. So you can click right here and add in effects and stuff like that, EQ, compression, but we're gonna get into that to a whole nother video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to learn more about mixing and stuff like that. Let me flip back. And if you wanna use shortcuts to easily fit, flip back and forth between the mixer and this timeline, if you're on a Mac, use Command equal, and if you're on PC, use Control equal. So if I use Control equal, it'll flip back and forth, do different windows. So super easy. I highly recommend you learn all the shortcuts and stuff like that because that'll help you finish your session a whole lot faster. And understand too, when you're adding like beats and stuff into your Pro Tools session, make sure you have quick time installed in your computer or else you won't be able to import audio clips into Pro Tools. So basically right here, I have this easy template set up. So if I want to record some vocals, so, so like I said right here, I have a beat pulled up and this right here would be your inputs for your your audio interface so you want to click right here to make sure that you have your microphone set up so most of you guys will probably insert your microphone into like the first input make sure you click right there if your mic is plugged into the first or what whichever input that is plugged into before you even start recording you want to make sure you have the beat and the whole pro to session set up on the right tempo so to do that you could either click on the MIDI controls right here and if you can't see this like I said before right click on this open area click on MIDI controls then you'll see the MIDI controls here and let's play the beat for a second while I'm playing the beat I'm gonna have this selected and I'm gonna tap on the T button to try to figure out whatever tempo this is so let's go all right so let me tap on T and you can see at the top it's changing Okay, so now like I want to make sure that this beat is on the grid. So in order to do that, make sure you click on grid and you can go down here and zoom in easily. So, okay, so now I zoomed in. At first it didn't look like it was on the grid, but now when I zoomed in, it is definitely on the grid. See how all these lines are lining up with the beat and in the WAV file, everything lines up. So I should be good to go. Sometimes like if you're using an MP3, you want to like really zoom in all the way and go to the beginning of the track and see right here there's dead space in there and that may throw off the grid so you want to zoom in as much as you can put this on slip and take that out right there yep so boom and then push that beat all the way forward zoom out put this back on grid and right here on these controls you can choose how big these file these wave files are you know what I'm saying so you can turn it down make it smaller make it bigger i want to see it on the grid so like i'm gonna turn it down and see like it's matching up on the grid okay so if you want to record like i said you know what i'm saying make sure your input is set up right here and then um hit record by either just hitting play and then control space that's how you can like easily punch in or you can just stop it and then press record and press space bar or play same thing so let me know if in this video, what kind of things are you looking for when you're recording in Pro Tools? I will do those videos. This was just a quick little video on how to set up your recording session. Um, like I said, if you want to download this quick little template just to get started, you know what I'm saying? I link down below. Thank you for watching the video. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. It helps with the channel. Thank you for watching. Peace.